Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. It's about uh, 20 minutes to four. It's not exactly the nightly wrap-up. It's the afternoon wrap-up. Uh, tomorrow, my daughter uh, graduates. Today, we got some other stuff going on for her. So uh, this is the, literally the only time I could record the video and off to do uh, dad stuff, which is actually uh, really, really awesome. The sad part is my baby, baby girl is graduating middle school, uh, middle school, so that sucks, but hey, life goes on. So let's talk about it, right? So yesterday we had an incredibly aggressive reversal. Uh, the NASDAQ came in very, very aggressive, took down about three, four days worth of channels uh, into uh, the 10 day moving average. If you watched last night's video, uh, my game plan today was, you know, for a gap up, right? We got the gap up um, and I was waiting for the bottom channels. That was the name of the game. We, I wanted to see if uh, the NASDAQ can confirm the 10-day moving average because if that would have happened, all the stocks that went into the 5, into the 10-day moving average, if they would have confirmed, then gravity would have really kicked in. Uh, and the next thing you know, we would have had a pretty big premium day. The problem with that is it didn't happen, right? It didn't, it didn't happen. And the most important thing is I, I kind of reiterate every single day, especially to new traders, it's not about being right. It's about being calculated on your research and waiting for that research to confirm. Not guess, uh, not anticipate, not trying to sound smart. It's waiting for that research to uh, confirm. And as you see what's going on here, uh, NASDAQ is up 1%, right? It's 1%. And the question going into today's session was yesterday just you know a, a, a rarity, right? An, an, uh, you know, an odd event. Uh, in this amazing, amazing bull run, or was this going to be uh, something more, something more of a day two stretch uh, to the downside? And quickly, you know, we got our answer, right? You know, you saw this morning, uh, Amazon uh, got an upgrade. And again, you can make a case, and this is where the bears can make a case. And again, I always like to play devil's advocate. I don't like to sit there uh, and try to, you know, go on one side. The bear case is everything is trading on an inside day. If you're brand new to trading, all an inside day is when you get this magnificent candle, whether it's to the upside, to the downside, and the next day, it doesn't take out the highs, doesn't take out the lows, that's called the inside day. It's normally uh, a, a pause before the next move in the original direction where you saw the candle. However, however, there obviously are exceptions. And the big exceptions, obviously, is this whole bull market. And the one thing that the bulls have done an incredible job, even on aggressive sell-offs. And you can see we had numerous aggressive sell-offs over a two, three period of time. If you notice, the last time we tested the 10-day moving average was on May the 24th. And, and what happened the next three days, we rallied, really, really rallied, and not only took down this one channel, we took down this whole formation on this gap down. So that's kind of where we, we are today. And if you look at today's action, is everything participating? No, right? I, I don't think I wouldn't, you know, and this is kind of where the bear case kicks in. You turn around and go, well, Microsoft was down 10. It's up two. Wah, wah, right? Amazon was down, like, what was it down? Seven, eight dollars. It's up three. Micro, you know, uh, again, NVIDIA yesterday got absolutely destroyed. It's up 10. But again, inside day, right? That's the inside day. So the, the key to going into tomorrow's session is, well, what happens next? Okay. Are we going to roll over and make this inside day a play going into tomorrow's session, taking down yesterday's channel tomorrow? Or are we going to start building upon the previous day's highs, reclaim the five-day moving average, and this bulk and bull market will have uh, more legs than it wants to, right? And that's exactly the open-ended question. And this is why it's so super important to, you know, to kind of be uh, open-minded, right? I go into every single video uh, saying, look, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I could plan for it. Here's my research. Here's my case. But if it doesn't confirm, we are out of luck. Again, we are out of luck to that side. Again, you can sit there crying and moan and complain about it, or you can make the best of it and waiting for the research to kind of turn and price action makes you right instead of just a, an, an, you know, just a guess like everybody else uh, is doing. So it's, it's very, very interesting going into tomorrow's session. Fridays are usually uh, very, very aggressive days. 
especially for stocks. Tesla is going out of its mind right now. Um, especially for stocks, uh, that's what you, that's what you know. The market still opens quarter to four right now. Uh, Tesla's going out of its mind. Uh, the, the most important part. I love Fridays because all the speculation money flow. Okay, that you saw throughout the week that they're betting for a weekly expiration, especially in, in a linear aggressive market. Those are the stocks that usually are going to take flight. So let's say, for example, right, Tesla has been out of its mind, okay, uh, out of its mind. Uh, it held the five-day moving average. It's going crazy right now. Uh, the, the, the most interesting bets we saw uh, going into tomorrow's session, we saw uh, the 235s, which are going to get paid off literally any minute here. You have the 235s, the 240s. You got the 250s. Uh, going into next week, I saw some 260s going in uh, for the end of June. So Tesla, if the market continues, hey, there's a shot this thing sees uh, 240s. Uh, Carvana, right? Carvana uh, gave a mid, I guess, a mid-year update. Uh, obviously, when you have that much short interest uh, in a name, it's not going to take a lot, especially in this type of environment, to light it up. Uh, tomorrow, we saw uh, the 25s come in. This is just going absolutely out of its mind. Uh, this is one of those stocks that if you do get a gap down tomorrow on light volume, you definitely want to pay attention, try to get this thing on a, on a remount on a 60-minute dip. But the way this stock is trading, would it shock me to see 30 bucks? No, absolutely not. So I, I think the value, right, the value in this play, and by the time uh, a lot of you guys are watching this video. The market's going to be closed. But I think the value in this play tomorrow, if it doesn't gap up two, three, four dollars is try to get it on a 60-minute support. Again, for all you guys who trade the one and the five-minute charts, this is what the 60-minute support line is, right? It's this orange line. It's this green line. And as you can see here, just visually, even if you have no idea what the PS60 theory is or support zones or demand zones, you can see what, visually every single time it hits a demand zone, what happens, right? Spikes, demand zone spikes, demand zone spikes. So any single time you have an opportunity to get a stock that's closing at the high of the day with uh, ridiculous volume, exaggerated price action, and you can get it on a rising support, those are the names you definitely want to pay attention with. Another name that had very, very uh, odd option flow today is Rivian, right? Uh, Rivian has done absolutely nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. What we've seen here now for the last few days They've been coming in for the July 1750 calls. Now, why is that important? The chart is terrible, right? The chart is absolutely awful. I mean, the stock today uh, held the 50-day moving average and bounce, and obviously the 50-day becomes now the line in the sand. But the odd part about it is somebody came in today with, with four orders in a row, buying 1,000 each, 1,000 every single uh, four times in a row of the July 21st expiration 1750 calls. Considering the stock is at the 50-day moving average and the chart is god awful, does somebody know something, or as the as the as the the great uh, you know as the great Wild Bill from uh, you know from Billion said, is somebody not uncertain to be determined? Uh, other names breaking out today on a monster monster move is Boeing. Right, we saw again. This is the point of watching option flow. We saw the buyers come in this morning. You know when the stock was at 213, 214, they were coming for the 220s. One after another, after another, after another. Again, congratulations to all you guys uh, who caught Boeing. It confirmed the 15 and a quarter, traded right to 220. Just an absolute uh, amazing move. Uh, some names that you definitely want to watch tomorrow. Definitely watch for Tesla in case it doesn't gap up into, into any weakness for a potential remount red to green scenario. But here's some names that look uh, pretty good. Look at Car Gurus, right? I thought it was Car Gill. It's Car Gurus. Nice setup here. All it needs to do is get above this channel here. If it could confirm this channel here, it could start its next leg up. Uh, look at a name, for example, like uh, BCRX, another name, you know, another name that had some option flow. You know, they were coming for the July 11 calls. This is not a bad looking chart. Again, I don't know if it's going to confirm tomorrow, but look at this channel here. If this thing could start taking above this channel here, maybe this thing wakes up. So keep an eye on that as well. Other than that, you know, it's very, very tough. With the exception of, of Tesla is approaching 235 right now. Uh, it, it's very tough to handicap tomorrow's session just because of what we talked about a few minutes ago. Again, we are in the middle of this channel. For the Bears, they need to confirm yesterday's low of 348. For the Bulls, they need to get above 
uh, 353, 354, and whoever controls either the five or 10 day moving average, you're probably going to have directional bias in that direction. So I apologize for cutting this video a little bit short. I gotta go jump in the shower. I gotta put on a suit. I gotta pretend I'm an adult. I gotta impress my wife. That's the only way I could trick her into, into Twitter after dark. For all you old farts are married, you kind of know what I'm talking about. For all you single guys, I'm hating on you from the sidelines, but that's what I do. I'm a hater at heart. Guys, God bless. Have a great, great remainder of your day. And all God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.